Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Henry and this is Create Your Own Cozy. Today's video is a thrift flip video where I am focusing on thrifted baskets. If you want to see how these things come out, stick around. So let's get started on the first project. I got this little apple basket at the thrift store for a dollar. And I really like the shape of it and the wooden handles. So I am using my farmhouse paint in the color white ash. And you can see that with this particular craft brush, the coverage is really great. It is covering up over this painted surface. I didn't even have to sand it. Um, you can't see the lines through it. And that is kind of the benefit of using a very a nicer paint. You only have to do one coat. I look I got went and got a little craft brush and it did not cover have as much paint on it and cover as well. So I did end up going back to the larger brush that just holds more paint. Um, if you don't have like a large flat brush like this, I would highly recommend it because it you can do straight lines with it um, and it holds a lot of paint and does a lot of coverage. So I got smart and put some tape down. I'm just gonna kind of smooth out the paint finish if there is a little bit of age to it that's fine but I don't like the color of the basket it's too orange for me so I thought that this was black but it is made from black it's like a dark gray so there's a black undertone in it so I just watered it down um, you saw just a little bit of water squirted some paint in there and put this gray paint on there as like a paint wash and because it was such um, a dry basket, it did soak it up. So I didn't want to leave it on too long. I just got a paper towel, wiped it back. And then when it dries, it always dries lighter. So don't freak out um, when you do this. Uh, but you can see the color difference. That orange is gone just by adding that black coloring to it. And for a dollar plus some paint, I think this looks pretty good. What do you think? So the next basket container that I am going to do is something that I had in my stash. I covered it first in shellac and then did one coat of the Rust-Oleum chalked linen white paint. Actually, take that back, I did two coats of this. And here I am just sanding it down with the 220 grit um, sanding sponge and just kind of softening some of the brush strokes. This is a cheaper paint, and I just wanted to make sure it had a softer, more worn look. Now, don't forget to shop your own stash. This is something that I had when I had a different style, and instead of going to a thrift store and picking this up, I just looked and saw that it had really great bones, and I thought this would look really nice two-toned. So I used some leftover paint from an accent color in my middle daughter's room, and painted the inside. Now I shellacked this as well. These um, wooden baskets tend to bleed through a lot. So just one coat of shellac will allow your color to stay vibrant and not have a yellowing to it. Now I have like an 80 grit sanding block and I'm just, I want this to look really rough because this is another way to get like a two-tone look. I just love these old basket containers roughed up so that you can see a lot of the details so I do that and then in addition since this is the chalked paint I did cover it with a clear um, rust-oleum paint to protect it from getting finger marks on it what do you think
Now, this next project I found in my stash when I first started going to the thrift store and I was like, why did I buy this? I don't even like this. I paid a dollar for it. The paint is yellow. The, the bottom is yellow. So I shellacked it and then I painted it two times with the white paint and it looks better, but uh, here I am with the um, Dollar Tree um, twine. I had a stage in my early 20s with my first house where I got um, grape stencils and ivy. And I stenciled my whole kitchen, purple grapes and green ivy. And boy, did I commit to that style. And obviously I've outgrown that now, but I think anytime there's like ivy or grapes, I kind of cringe a little bit and remind myself of that. So here I am just trying to cover up the ivy and let me know, is it worth a dollar? Now this next basket is something I bought at a thrift store and I'm using on my own personal basket wall, but it's too red. So I actually found my black paint. It's just a 99 cent acrylic black paint from Target or wherever you wanna buy it. I made a paint wash again and I am just toning down this red color by adding black to it. I know it seems weird, but it works. So just one coat of this all over the basket, front and back, because you can see it from the sides on a basket wall. And I'm really happy with the results. Let me know what you guys think. This is the second basket on my basket wall that I got at a thrift store, but it was almost like too yellow and too new looking. So I took the Waverly Antique Wax, mixed it with water. This is my antiquing wax um, wash. Um, you can make it as dark or as light as you want. And I just did one coat. Um, this basket did not soak in as much as the other one, so I think I needed to put a lot more on it. But you can do multiple layers of this and when it dries that's when the magic happens because right now it just looks very dingy but when it dries you can tell it, it makes it look like a an old piece
So I just wanted to say hello to all of my new subscribers and I wanted to say thank you so much for your support, not only for my ideas and my upcycles, but for me as a human being on the other side of this camera, thank you for encouraging me and for cheering me on. If you missed last my last video, I announced that I am opening um, a resale antique booth on March 1st, something I've always wanted to do. And the amount of encouragement for, for, for me just like taking that plunge from you guys has been so awesome. And I have so many ideas up here and I'm so excited. I just need the energy and the bandwidth to be able to do right here and like make it happen. And my intent is to show you guys along the way. So if you like these kind of videos, thrift flips, furniture makeovers, and now following along as I open my own small business in an antique booth, please hit, hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get to know every time I upload a new video. Just wanted to say thank you so much again. I'm encouraged by you guys. I'm thankful for you and I will see you guys again next week. Bye.